Hi, I'm Heidi Hewitt with Autodesk, and I'm here speaking with Eddie Perlberg, also with Autodesk. Eddie, for customers that are using uh, the Autodesk Design Suite, what is a typical workflow that they'll use to take advantage of those different products? Well, Heidi, we're finding that customers are actually uh, using the flexibility of the Autodesk Design Suite to fit their typical workflow. So some of our customers are starting their projects inside of 3ds Max Design, using the modeling capability in there to create their creative shapes, moving that through the Autodesk Design Suite to see what it looks like in Showcase and document it in, in an AutoCAD environment and then even enhancing it with Alias Sketch. While others are starting in Alias Sketch using a blank piece of paper to sketch and draw their, their concept drawings and moving those again into AutoCAD where they can start to engineer and document it, take a look at it in Showcase and put it into context in the 3ds Max design. So the really good news about the Autodesk Design Suite is as it's as flexible as you need it to be when it comes to a, a workflow process. Yeah, that sounds like it's just that whole interoperability and exchanging the files between there. So those customers that even start with AutoCAD maybe have just been sole AutoCAD users. And that, that would be me. And, <laughs> and, and typically, being familiar with an AutoCAD environment, I can then enhance a little bit and artist, you know, make an artistic expression in Alias Sketch and all the assets that I've created starting in AutoCAD can then move into Showcase and into 3ds Max Design. Great. Well, thank you. This is an incredibly valuable suite of products and uh, it seems like something that's really going to take, help people take their design visualizations to the next level, their projects to the next level with design visualization. Definitely. All right. Thanks, Eddie.